On today's episode of Homeworthy, we're bringing you an exclusive look into how New York City-based interior designer Katie Ritter transformed a bleak primary bedroom into a botanical retreat for the beautiful Kipps Bay Show House in Palm Beach, Florida. Expansive in size, Katie partitioned the space into three relaxed living areas to offer a sense of versatility and comfort. Wallpaper dotted with sprawling ferns and native bluebirds animate the room while an anchoring four-post bed and turquoise embroidered headboard serve as quietly dramatic focal points. Enjoy! You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, my name is Katie Ritter. I am a New York-based designer for the most part, but I work all over and I am going to show you my room today. I started with a white box three months ago with purple velvet curtains, and in, I've turned it into a layered, multi-use bedroom. So I do, I've been in this business for about 30 years. I hate to say that, it dates me. But I do projects all over the country, um, well, I guess all over the world, but that's not the case right now. But I do projects, mostly full projects, full houses, full apartments, and, um, and I like the mix of all the different things that I get exposed to because every client is different and asking for different things and have different requirements and have different taste. So it's a lot of fun. My personal design aesthetic is, I like things relaxed, but sparky and interesting and something that you haven't seen before and with a sense of humor and um, and you know things that that you know are, are comfortable and relaxed. For my design process I really like to layer things. I like you know a lot of color and a lot of layers, a lot of craft. That's a very important part of my business. So when I started this room, I wanted something with a high impact, but yet again, that, you know, a little bit on the quiet side. So we went to de Gournay Papers, and because of this southeast light, I, um, we found this uh, classic design. It was actually done by Siri Mom. It was taken from a design from Siri Mom in the 1920s, a house in California. And it was just this block of ferns, and I thought that wasn't quite, I wanted a little bit of whimsy to it. Um, I mean, it's, it's a classic, beautiful paper, and the silver is reflective with the greens and the blues outside. Um, but I asked if they could add some birds in here, and they gave me two choices of birds, uh, a blue jay, a local blue, blue jay, and another bird that had more similar, like these kinds of colors to it. And, um, and I chose the blue jay, but they're all different. Um, and they're just kind of popped here and there. The way de Gournay works, they do elevations per wall. And so they strategically place uh, the birds where they thought you would see them the most. And then from there, um, it's, it's really, it really happens, well, first of all, it's a collaboration with my office. Um, I have, I would say, a small office in New York. We all work together. We all work on all the projects. And once we had the wallpaper, we started with a carpet. I love antique carpets. And this is not antique, but it's a Swedish design from Doris Leslie Blau in New York. And I thought the colors, um, you know, it's a, it's a dark base, which is nice. And it, it's a compliment to the bluebirds. And then from there, we started adding, adding in, um, layering in the fabrics. And well, first of all, we start with a furniture plan. That's the very first thing. And this is a large room. So I wanted a four poster bed because it's so large. I think in a smaller room, you can have um, a headboard and that's it. And, but in this room, you know, why not add some, some um, height to the bed? So we found a four poster bed at Danielle Kelling, my, um, my project director, I mean, my design director um, found this bed at um, Restoration Hardware, and we often use Penn and Fletcher um, to um, embroider uh, in details. And in this case, they took this design and just in blue thread embroidered on top of the blue velvet. And it kind of looks like a coral design, but it's very classical with this wreath right here. And then on top of that, layering further, Leontine Linens designed this fern um, design for us, which mimics the fern wallpaper. 
And then I love Christopher Spitzmiller lamps. And so we um, had him make these custom color, the, the, these blue lamps right here. And I, you know, this is, you know, the, the, the scale of it's so nice, it's beautifully handcrafted. And I think this hatch is really interesting too. And, um, and then over here, these are also Chris Spitzmiller, the yellow ones. And, um, and then we often um, customize our lampshades with details, in this case, a little blue rick rack to bring in the blue headboard. And we custom made these bedside tables with a drawer. I won't show you what's inside because it's filled with probably my hammer, et cetera, in there. But um, it's nice to have a drawer for a bedside table. Uh, well, blue and green are my favorite colors. And so, well, for instance, that chartreuse, I really wanted chartreuse curtains because I think it's a nice play. So over here, against the silver and the kind of mossy greens, um, it really, you know, really stands out and frames these windows and the door nicely. Um, and so it's really just, I mean, it, it, it's really intuitive. I mean, I really just, throw everything on the table and everybody, you know, we go through the bins and choose fabrics. Um, this fabric is from my line of wallpaper fab and fabric. It's called Moonflower. And so we started with a green sofa. I wanted a lot of green chartreuses um, to play off the blue carpet. So this is a green velvet and, and this is a um, kind of a peacock color brush fringe that um, I think is really effective in framing the shape of the cushion. This was made by someone in Miami. And, um, and then it's just, you know, the, it's layering in, it's layering in, you know, more chartreuse from the pillow, picks up the curtain. And this is a Fortuny fabric that I had left over in my closet. So it's just, it's adding little bits of color, but bringing the color around the room. So, you know, you have the chartreuse lamps, the chartreuse curtains, a little chartreuse pillow here. So that's coming around the room and there's the coral and the pillow and the coffee table we spray painted a coral color. Um, and then this mirror is from um, Stephen Antonson and he has a pop-up shop right now in, in, with Liz O'Brien in Palm Beach. So we needed something, you know, something, a zinger for over the sofa, and I think that really accomplishes it. Um, Siri Mom was known as um, using, she was really the first person in the 1920s to use white furniture, white plaster, white painted furniture. And I, so I think white is just a natural complement to this silver wallpaper. The three tips I would give to decorate a bedroom is make it, first of all, cozy. You want a cozy bedroom. And I would say for the most part, people, when they decorate a house, they say, I want color in my living room. But when it comes to the master bedroom, they want it quiet. And this is somewhere in between, I think, between quiet and something a little um, more lively. It does have a lot of color, but it reflects, I'll show you the light outside, the green of the trees. I feel like I'm in the trees here and the blue of the water. So it's, um, it's, it's got a lot of light coming at it. And in Florida, there is a lot of light, so you can really pump up the color. To achieve a cozy bedroom feel, um, I think it has a lot to do with the linens, very soft, high cotton um, count. And I often use Leontine linens for my beds, embroidery, um, and a duvet is always very comfortable um, and a cozy throw. I mean, in this bedroom, you'll see there are, it's a very large bedroom. So it's, you, we can have a seating area and a desk area and a bed area. It's also nice to have a chair, a comfortable chair to sit in in a bedroom. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.